Good morning. Let's finish what we started. Welcome to the Station Bakery. Today we are decorating three whole cakes today. I know that y'all have been waiting. This has been a whole saga leading up to this point with me baking the cakes, going and shopping for all of the materials and stacking and filling. And y'all have been riding along this journey. And now we finally get to see the culmination of all of those videos come together with me finally getting to the decorating part of all of these cakes. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, so this is the first cake that'll be going out. Very simple, takes very little time and work. And I'm just adding on these faux flowers. As you know, I struggled so much in the store trying to find and figure out what the heck this flower was. But here it is, and I am fairly pleased with it. <laughs> Can kind of see it on my face. I was like, yeah, okay, that was it. Not really my style, simplistic, you know, rustic looking. I don't do that often, but I am pleased with how this turned out. And of course the customer was pleased as well. <laughs> so let's get into the next one. Um, this is a little mermaid themed cake that I'm working on. And I'm just taking this huge mammoth of a cake and transitioning it over onto its cake board. I usually decorate my cakes on the actual cake board that is going to be on, but because this was a more fancy cake board, <laughs> I didn't want to run the risk of messing it up and you know all of that stuff, so I decided to put it on a different cake board and then just transfer it over. I Something that I've been working on that I've been telling you about in these videos is really maximizing my time when making these cakes and I have found a system or I'm trying out a system that so far it's worked pretty well and stenciling is part of that system. Stencils are so great because they add a really nice flair to your cake. It gives it depth and dimension but it's also just very simple. This is a very easy and simple way to decorate your cakes and you can give it a lot of texture, give it a lot of different looks with just this one simple process and technique. If you've been following along this whole journey of me making these cakes, then you know that I have been talking about improving my efficiency when making these cakes. And I just want to share one of the tips that I have that I found that really helped me to increase my efficiency to be able to get these cakes pushed out very quickly. So you see here that I actually started designing my cakes. If you look on the left, the left side shows my just hand drawing you can do this if you have an iphone this is just in notes and i just hand drew the idea that i had in my head and what's really great about this i'm generally a pen and paper type of person but you know i didn't have like crayons and colors to like match the colors that i wanted so this was a much easier option and then if you look over on the right this is me actually using canva to bring that drawing more to life so I can have a more realistic look of what this cake will look like when it's done. I'm able to do um, simple proportions and just get everything as close to what the actual final product will look like. Y'all remember in one of my day in the lives, like I did, um, I was testing out frying wafer paper for like some cupcakes. Well, I am going to be doing that same thing, but try and get a little bit differently. I'm gonna put some color. I am also going to try something called crinoline or crinoline, crin crinoline, whatever it's called. I'm gonna be trying that out as well as kind of like an edible lace and just see how it turns out and how it looks on the cake and everything. I think it's gonna be like something really fun, some really fun textures. And yeah, I'm excited to try it out and see what it turns out like on this cake. When I started working on my cake design, I had my phone set up beside me just so I can have my design there to reference. And y'all, really quickly, let's talk about these edible images because y'all, 
if you don't have your own machine to print out your own edible images, like these things are so expensive. So I don't have my own edible printer, so I have to go to the local cake supply store to get my images printed out, and they charge about $25 per page, y'all. $25, okay? So that on top of the time that it takes me to get there and back, like it's just a really expensive cost. So yeah that's edible images for you okay so a lot of y'all had questions about the styrofoam balls that i showed you in my last video and you were asking like well what are you doing with those this is what i'm doing with them <laughs> i just simply took them and dipped them in some chocolate and these are serving as bubbles i hope you can tell let me know can y'all tell that these are bubbles because that's what i was going for i was i actually did um, use the mini hot chocolate ball molds to make bubbles but I was like that would take too much work when I can just dip these into the chocolate and call it a day so that's what I did and then um, I'm adding on that fried wafer paper and now tell me how perfect is this and how close does it look to coral to you like I'm flabbergasted at how beautiful and wonderful this texture looks and works. Kind of got a little muddy with the colors there, but it still works. It looks great under the sea, fun. And if you're like me, I decorate from the front to the back. I don't go all out in the back, but I do like to add a little bit. So it's giving looks from every angle, no matter where you're looking from, the cake looks finished. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. Okay, on to the third and final cake in this whole weekend. Yeah, this is going to be a Beauty and the Beast themed cake. So Belle and the Beast will be at the forefront of this cake. So like I told you in my previous videos, I'm really kind of like working on my style and finding what it is that I like and how I like to design and decorate cakes. So I was really happy this weekend with these two um, princess themed cakes because I was able to really just play around with that and see what I like, what I don't like. And one of the things that I think that I will be really focusing on is simplicity. And with these cakes, although the finished products, they won't necessarily look simplistic, but in my mind and for what I would normally do, this would be a simplistic style cake there is a lot of room for me to actually simplify even more but I'm learning the basics and the foundations of what my cakes will look like and what they will entail so with that a clean base a clean slate using minimal color and just finding simplistic ways to bring the cakes to life like I told you stencils are a great way to do that they add so much to the cake without having to do tons and tons of work right so I am really loving and stencils will be part of my game plan moving forward with decorating cakes and by the way I will have these stencils linked in the description below for you if you are interested in the ones that I have there are a lot of other great bakers who sell stencils as well but I'll just link you to the ones that I personally use okay so now we are back into Canva I did do the same process that I did with the Little Mermaid cake where I drew it out first but I didn't really want to show you that one because the design and just how it came out was a bit different and I don't want to confuse you so this is um, in canva and what is really great about canva that i find is that they literally had everything that i needed and what i wanted like down to like the types of flowers that i purchased at the store like they had it on there well i found the flowers on canva and then i was able to actually find them in the store which was perfect and great so how i design and decorate this cake it actually came out looking how I designed it with a few tweaks here and there of course but I am very pleased and I can't wait to show you the ending but yeah this is all done in Canva so I just went through created my design that was in my head and we just boom bam bim it and um, then again I used it I sat it next to me while I'm decorating my cake so I can have it as a reference for while I'm going through this process Making this cake was so fun and satisfying and I was just so elated with the fact that it turned out exactly how I envisioned it, if not better. I am placing the florals <laughs> into the cake 
I did cut them and then wrap the ends of them and you know you can wash or dust down your floors as well um, before placing them onto your cake and I'm just pressing them in and just adjusting the flowers to make and bring this dress to life and when I say that this was beyond my expectations like it was beyond my expectations so also I'm doing a double side on this cake because I had the way that I wanted to make it and then my client had the way that they wanted to make it by the way my client was my daughter <laughs> so once I got all of the pieces put onto the cake I then added the toppers to them because you know we gotta top it off with a nice little topper and I'm so in love with these toppers they're very easy to make they are acrylic toppers that I made myself by painting the backs and then using vinyl and my Cricut machine to cut out the letters to go on them but let me stop talking and let me just show y'all All cakes are complete. One has already been picked up and then the other two are coming with me. We are going on vacation. I think the drive is probably gonna be like two and a half hours or so. So the next thing that you'll see will be cakes after the long travel. 